Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the two pillow mockup in Photopea. <clears throat> First, go to photopea.com in any web browser, and then you're going to want to click this Open from Computer button and open the mockup off your computer. I've already got it open in a new tab right here. And we're going to be doing all our work in this handy layers panel right here. So if you don't see the layers panel, go to Window and then click on Layers to bring it up. And first you just want to click the arrow in either the pillow right or pillow left layer group to expand it and then double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash pillow layer. That'll open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. And to do that, go to File, Open. Find your design. Then go to Select All. Then Edit, Copy. Click back on the Smart Object tab. And then watch it spin for a few seconds while it decides to be uncooperative. Then go to Edit, Paste. And it might not be the size you want, so if you need to resize it, go to Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to zoom out a little bit by pressing Control minus. It would be Command minus on a Mac. And I'm just going to hold down the shift key to keep it proportional and click and drag any one of the four corners. And then once you've got that resized, you can just go to File, Save Smart Object. And that's going to take a few seconds to save the smart object. And then once ready, it lets us know that it's updated. And you can just click the X to close the Smart Object tab and close the original graphics. And you'll see it put the design on the pillow just like that for us. We could click the arrow and do the same thing with the left pillow. Or you could uh, double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash pillow layer and that'll open up a color picker. And then you can just click anywhere in the rainbow slider to change the color and then click in the gradient box to change the lightness and darkness of the color. If you wanted to copy and paste this number, you could click in the box next to hex and then drag and select that number and then press control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac to copy that. And then you could go into the other pillow, double click the color dash pillow, double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash pillow layer, click and drag in the box next to hex, and press Control V on a PC or Command V on a Mac. And if we hide the design layer by clicking on the eye icon, you'll see that pillow is the same shade of purple. You can uh, adjust the shading and contrast on the pillow by clicking the box next to the more pillow shading layer to turn it on. And then click on the more pillow shading layer and click the arrow next to opacity and just drag the slider to the right to make it more contrasty or the left to make it more subtle. You can do something similar with the shadows under the pillow by just clicking the arrow to expand the pillow shadows layer group, clicking on one of the shadows, and then clicking the down arrow next to fill and dragging the slider to the right to make it darker or the left to make it more subtle. Depending on which mock-up you purchase, you may have different backgrounds. So to toggle through those, you can just click the arrow next to backgrounds, and then just click the eye icon or the little box next to the background name to 
turn it on and off. You could also add your own backgrounds in here by basically going to File Open and then copying the background and pasting it right into this mock-up. Kind of similar to what you did with the design for the pillow except you'd paste it directly into this file instead of double clicking to open up the smart object. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. If you're going to use this online as a thumbnail, like on a website like Etsy, you'll want to save a version as a JPEG. To do that, you would just go to File, Export as JPEG. If you wanted to save a layered PSD file with your design, you could come back here a second time and go to File, Save as PSD. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.